What's up my darlings, welcome back to Mass Effect 3. It's a big day today, we have reached priority to Chunga. We're going to cure the Genophage. I have been mentally preparing for this one since the beginning of Mass Effect 3. I have no idea what to expect. I mean, I'm hoping we can just go in and cure the Genophage and leave, but knowing the way things have gone over the course of this game, that's probably not going to happen, especially with Cerberus being everywhere we go. I mean, this is a huge deal for the Krogan, for the universe. I mean, Mordin has somehow come up with a cure. We have Eve, the last remaining female Krogan who was immune to the genophage. I personally think she should be president of the Krogan, but that's just me. Um, but this is going to be really intense. I know it is. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this one. So strap in, deep breaths, and let's go and do priority to Chunka. Grab yourself a drink or a snack, get cozy, and let's get to it. <gasps> ah! Trying not to scream externally, just screaming internally. I'm going to have to just... It's game time. I'm very serious about curing the genophage, helping the Krogan out. I've got to just get my head in the game, get through it. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm telling you right now, I have no patience today for the Reapers or for Cerberus. Get out of my way. I will annihilate each and every one of you myself. I have no time for any of your nonsense today. The Krogan are counting on me. I'm going to make it happen. As daunting and terrifying as this is, I'm gonna have to be brave, do my best, and get through it. Get Eve there safely, get everyone out of there safely, <laughs> and get it done. <laughs> this is such a historic moment. Like the fact that we even have a cure for the genophage now, let alone that it's happening. It's a major historical event. All right, my darlings, it's time to go help the Krogan and boop that any button. Boop. This is not a drill. Stay calm. Everybody stay calm. <laughs> Deep breaths. <sighs> okay. I hear you. The white people in there keep acting like nothing's going on. Uh. No, that's just them coping with the war. It's the bottom feeders that are getting fame. Profiteering on the lives the war is destroying. It's sick. It's just business as usual as far as they're concerned. For some, it's even more business than usual. I hate that they're getting away with this. And we just sit here doing nothing while people on Palavin are dying. I don't want to interrupt this conversation. Quit C-Sec, go to Palavin to help with the war effort. Find your family. You, spirits, you do that? We're partners, aren't we? Of course I would. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to dance and then that conversation started and I didn't want to interrupt. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, sir. How are you? Why are you staring at me? Hi, can I... Can I help you? <laughs> it's not like I'm in his way. He's just standing there looking at me. What? I mean, I know I've, like, saved the universe and everything, but, like, if you want something, you can just ask me. <laughs> Oh my god, there's quite a lot of butt smacking going on back here. <laughs> well, this certainly lightened the mood. I completely forgot that I was in front of Purgatory. So now that I've danced a bit, gotten a bit of stress out, that's enough clubbing. It's time to get things done. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Thank you. Goodbye. We. Hey guys, I'm about to go kill the genophage. No big deal. Don't worry about it. Boop. Do 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 do. Boop. Civilian deportation order. Commander Bailey has requested assistance with a con man who is preying on refugees. The man has exploited loopholes to delay his arrest. Spectre authorization would allow CSEC to immediately deport the con man from the Citadel. Authorize. Citadel Defense Force. Yes! Well, that's that taken care of. Just gonna jog around, get myself pumped, get the blood pumping, get myself ready. Hey guys, 
I'm gonna go kill the genophage. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. I'm not freaking out or anything. You're freaking out, okay? Stop projecting onto me. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. Someone hold my hand. You, you gonna hold my hand? I mean, if you could put that gun down, that would be great. Maybe we could hold hands. Boop. Are highlighted on the elevator menu. Excuse me, I'm trying to think. And you're talking repeatedly. If you have a question, please consult an Avena terminal for assistance. Where's the mute button? Boop. One moment, please. Thank you. The Citadel. Now so peaceful. At docking bay D24. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. I'm going to go cure the genophage, hopefully. Um, if I don't come back, please don't kill each other. <laughs> please, for the love of God. Okay, toodaloo. Ah, boop. Time to go. And here we are. Yes! Hello, trainer. How are you? I'm very stressed, trainer. I'm about to co-cure the genophage. And I'm screaming internally. But on the outside, I'm cool as a cucumber. Everything's absolutely fine. Can I get, like, a sedative or something? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Before I go. <laughs> okay, trainer. I'm gonna go do the thing now. Hold down the fort while I'm gone, okay? Thank you. All right, darlings, the time has come. I'm gonna go straight to the map and go to Tuchanka. Ah, uh, yay. Boop. Citadel, I'm sure I'll see you soon. Goodbye. To Tuchanka, boop. Here we go. Oh, it's right there. We're right next to it. There you go, just a little bit of a hop, skip, and a jump. And curing the genophage, no big deal. Let's go, boop. Yes, oh my God, here we go. Wee! You guys ready to cure the genophage? Pre-victory donuts! Ow! Krogan! I'm coming to help you, and so is Morden, and Rex, and Eve. We got a whole crew ready to go. I'm bringing the donuts. Wee! I'm gonna do donuts until my anxiety disappears. Is it working? Is it working? <laughs> we went to cure the genophage and Shepard just did donuts for like five hours. Everyone on board was sick. <laughs> oh, it was a bad time. Reverse donuts. I can't sing the song backwards though. It's not the same. Okay, Tuchanka, I'm ready to come and save you. Let's be brave. Boop. Tuchonk's Shroud Facility. Okay. Oh, deep breaths. Let's get it. Land. All hands, full stop. Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates. Oh, here we go. It's cracking off. What have you got? We just got here. So Reaper parked at the shroud facility. Oh. So you're gonna be able to land a shuttle there. Get Why am I not surprised? I want eyes on the shroud. Aye, aye, ma'am. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, it's happening. New form of Reaper Shepherd using shroud to poison Tuchanka's atmosphere. <gasps> Problematic. They want to fight. They just got one. Ooh, Rex is pissed. I'm gonna need your help. That could be difficult. <laughs> Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. Please. But this is for Palavin. Keep your word. Didn't he tell me that if I helped him out with this mission that he would come through? Was that the conversation we had previously? This guy is so wishy-washy. I understand that he's new to this kind of leadership and this kind of environment, but like... Come on, man. I feel like anytime this guy says anything, I can't trust him to actually keep his promises. He said if I got the Krogan, he would help me. And now he's like, well, I don't know. I do understand too that they've lost a lot of Turians. I'm gonna say keep your word. You said you'd help. It's time to deliver. Mm-hmm. What is it you need? A combined attack. 
Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Okay. Rex, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Yes, distraction. Small team can reach Shroud facility, finish synthesizing cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. Okay. Oh, God. We're going to have to protect Eve as well. Oh. Everyone up for this? We've never faced a Reaper up close like this. Oh. Everyone on board? Facing Where's a Reaper up close. Let's move, Pijack. It's time to cure the Genophage. Pijack. Yes, Rex is ready. He's like, I've been waiting for this. Let's go. Incoming message marked urgent. I'll put it in the comm review. Okay. Hello. Dalatras. How's it Shepard. going? We know you've reached Tuchanka. Uh-huh. By now, I imagine Morden Solus has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on us? <laughs> Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow your misguided sympathy for the Krogan to cloud your judgment. Oh, here we go. Do you honestly believe curing the Genophage will end in lasting peace? I had a feeling that this would happen. It was interesting to me that we were getting this close to curing the genophage and I hadn't had a ton of opposition. I have from Dalatras specifically. And a couple people have voiced concern, but I'm I'm not surprised that this is coming at this juncture. I mean, everyone has existed with the genophage in place, right? So it's hard for them to imagine a different reality. I really believe that with Rex or maybe Eve leading the Krogan, yes, peace could be achieved. I feel like, once again, a lot of people are not taking into consideration the immediate threats that are happening right now. Yes, we still have things to worry about when this is over, but like right now, I'm not concerned about that. <laughs> I'm concerned about getting through this horrific Reaper invasion that's wiping everyone out Regardless of how you feel about the Krogan, they should be able to survive, is my opinion. We need as many armies as possible to get through this. And the Krogan deserve a chance to survive like everybody else. A lot of people have been able to move past it. So Dalatras, get on board or get out of my way. Yes, this could we work. Have to give the Krogan that chance. You can't condemn an entire race to extinction based on what might happen. Mm-hmm. What will happen is the Krogan will reproduce out of control. We uplifted them specifically for their violent nature, not their diplomatic skills. Another war is inevitable. What do you want, Dalatras? Yeah, exactly. Ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you were planning couldn't be done. Oh. We will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Rex believe you fulfilled your promise. Morden would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. We can provide you our very best scientists to oh. build the Crucible and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. <laughs> the audacity of this person. Dalatras, do you not know me by now? Clearly you don't. I don't think Dalatras has like spent enough time with me. The actual audacity. You think I would have gone through all this to rescue one of the last female Krogan immune to the genophage. I would have gone through all this with Rex, all this with Grunt, the Krogan in general, to just sabotage it at this point. You really think that I would get all this way just to be like, eh, nah, you're right. I just shouldn't do it. And I should betray Rex and the Krogan. It's just the actual audacity. This rhetoric is exactly why I'm fighting for this. Is because, okay, the things that were done to the Krogan, I feel like were done when things were different. Certain groups felt like it was appropriate. Things are done in war that I'm sure they would not do now. We're at a different point now, Dalatras. Like, we've moved forward 
past that. There are different alliances now, different levels of understanding. And I'm not going to let your racism and prejudice sway me from doing what should be done. Sorry. And I know everyone has different opinions about the genophage, about the Krogan. As I said, I can logically understand doing it. I don't think it was right. That's just me. And I plan to help correct it. So Delatras can go kick rocks, as far as I'm concerned. I do feel like, especially because this is a huge deal for Rex and the Krogan, I am tempted to bring the squad mates that Rex knows. So Liara and Garrus, I think those two would be like a really good choice to support Rex. It is interesting too that after the bomb mission, the two people that Rex was talking to were Garrus and Liara. He was asking Garrus, like, please tell me you didn't know about this. And he was talking to Liara as well. Um, so I feel like those are the two people that he is closest to out of this group and would probably be the best to support him. Okay, let's do it. OG squad. We're doing it, we're doing it. I'm pretty pleased with the setup I had last time, so I'm gonna keep that. Liara, my dear. Oh, that's interesting. For some reason, she doesn't have weapon mods, so let me put some of those on there for her. Let's increase accuracy and increase... Ooh, there's wider projectiles, magazine capacity. Let's add this small attachment to muzzle causing massive damage to melee targets. Uh, or maybe I should do wider projectiles. Yeah, let's do that one. That's pretty good. And then her other weapon. Let me make sure I'm giving her a good machine gun really quick. Um, yeah, this one's good. Let's add some mods. Let's do this heat sink. That's pretty good. And let's do... Actually, this one could work. Yeah, let's do that. Garris me boy. I think I'm good with what you've been using so far. Let's add this too. Sure. All right, so Shepard has five points. So I think I'm going to level up. Let's do pull. For rank five, we can inflict 22 damage per second to lifted targets or increase all damage to targets lifted by pull by 25%. I think I'm going to do... Ooh, this is a tough one. I think I'll do just 22 damage per second in general. I think that's a pretty good choice. Garris me boy has three points, so I unfortunately can't level anything up. Liara has six points. Ooh, I think I'm going to do warp to rank four, increase damage by 30%, increase force damage and impact radius of combo detonations by 50%. I'm gonna increase damage. Nice. Okay. I've ordered the clans to assemble at the hollows. Oh. It's our sacred meeting ground. We'll land there and take an armored convoy against the Reaper. This will be the defining moment of Krogan history. We're with you, Rex. Defining moments, most bloody. Hope this one better. <laughs> I hope so too. Oh, Morden looks nervous. Reveal shroud sabotage. Say nothing for now. Oh. Okay, I feel like Eve. Why can't they call her Eve? Why does it say female Krogan? Part of me feels like if I wait until later to bring this up, they might think, why didn't she tell us as soon as she found out? She's really on our side. Why didn't she say something earlier? So I feel like this is something that needs to be brought up. If I'm fully on the side of the Krogan, I feel like I need to communicate. Hey, Dalatras is trying to double cross you guys. So everyone's on the same page. On the other hand, I do worry that bringing it up now could cause more stress. <laughs> but my gut is telling me to, to tell them about it. I, I wanna be like upfront, like, yo, right before we left, this person contacted me. Also, didn't they say that Krogan are slow to trust? So I feel like if I give her more signs that she can trust me, this might go well. I worry if I tell Rex or Eve this now, 
that it's going to throw them off or they're going to be really upset or they're going to be like, oh, so does that mean you're going to do it? Like, I don't know, it could cause problems, but my gut is telling me to to reveal it to them now. I got a message. <gasps> oh, no, I didn't get it out. The Reapers are already at the hollow. Come out with guns blazing. Hang on tight. We're heading in. Thank you, Cortez. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, I tried. I tried to tell them. Here we go. Oh! Good job, Rex. Shepard, keep them away from the female. I'll sort out what's happening with the other clan. I'll do my best. Ooh, go, Krogan! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Everyone pick your targets and keep an eye on our six. Now move! Here they come! Push forward. Don't let them get up here. I'll do my best, Rex. All right, let's go. This is as bad as Paladin. This is terrible. Oh, sorry, Garrus. We're not done yet. More on the way. Hey, no. Defend Eve at all costs. Where are you going? That guy's crawling up the wall. Ew. <laughs> Did you see that? Ew, they're crawling up the walls. Ew. Oh. They'll sing battle songs about this someday. Go on, Rex. Yes. Soaked our soil. Look at all the Krogan. Hi, everyone. We have to get to the Shroud. The airstrike is on its way. Female safe, Shepard. Vitals are strong. Okay, good. What's a Solarian doing here? Oh dear. Nobody said anything about this. Oh dear. Multiple Krogan. Problematic. <laughs> oh, Morden. Oh no. What clan are you? Who are you? Erdnot Reeve, brood brother to our illustrious leader. <laughs> Reeve and I share the same mother and nothing else. They're brothers. I remember what it means to be a true Krogan. Okay. We flay our enemies alive and drown them in a geyser of their own blood. We don't invite them into our home. Oh dear, this is bad. Salarian is with me. Salarian is not your enemy. He's here to help cure the genophage. His kind gave us the genophage. Why should we trust okay, him? Okay, dude, chill. Ooh! <laughs> Because I do. Oh, Rex! And so will you. That's right. Get in line. Ooh, the grumbling. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. My queen has arrived. You can stay here and let old wounds fester as Krogan have always done. I love her. Or you can fight the enemy you were born to destroy and win a new future for our children. I choose to fight. Her Royal Highness is speaking. Count me in, everyone had better help. I believe in Queen Eve. Her Royal Highness. <laughs> What an entrance. I like that she just completely commanded the room, descended the stairs, and was like, all right, let's go. I think our new leader has arrived. Well, I want to get everyone on board with this. I want Eve to be president of the Krogan, so count me in. And so will I. Yes. Now hold your heads high like true Krogan. There's a reaper that needs killing. <laughs> let's go do that. <laughs> Morton. <laughs> I don't trust this guy. I don't trust this guy at all. Oh, here we go. Roll out, do do, with my Krogan. Roll out, do do. Amazing. This is Turian Wing Artemak. Our flight vector to the shroud is locked. We're ten minutes out and counting. Look at that thing. Copy that, Artemak. We're on our way, trying to make up lost time. Shepard out. Reeve isn't the only Krogan who wants revenge for the genophage, Rex. You'll have to placate them somehow. I'll demand the Council return some of our old territory. 
We'll need room to expand. Recapture the glory of the ancients. Glory of ancients led to Krogan rebellions, countless deaths, creation of genophage, expansion plan problematic. The ancients? What the ancient Krogan like? Tachanka wasn't always a wasteland. In the old times, the Krogan were a proud people. We had dreams, a future to look forward to. Until Salarian interference. Mm -hmm. No, we destroyed Tachanka ourselves. Technology changed us. Huh. It made life too easy. Interesting. So we for new challenges and found them in each other. Nuclear war was inevitable. But now our planet is rubble. We'll need a better place to live. I mean, the Krogan have earned so it. Helping defeat the Reapers would be worth a new planet. <laughs> or ten. Or yeah, ten. See how fast we can pop them out. <laughs> Rex. But with the Genophage cured, we'll have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Rex. <laughs> Commander, on the shuttle, was there something you were going to say? Yes, I want to reveal the, the sabotage again. Am I going to get it out this time? Dalatras tried to cut a secret deal with me. Okay, phew. What kind of deal? She said they sabotaged the Shroud years ago. The cure won't work unless we fix it. Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud. Oh, she recorded the conversation. Couldn't be done. And she thought we wouldn't know better? Oh, Rex is pissed. Correctly. Would likely have fooled tests, but familiar with STG work, can adjust. Did not come this far for nothing. Yay, Morden! We spared our race another genocide, Commander. <sighs> I told you we could count on her. Oh, God, I'm so glad I told them. Ooh, I'm so relieved. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. What's happening? Hi, hi Liara. Hi, Garrus. Good. Oh, my God, look at that thing. Rex, you and Morden stay with Eve. It's looking ugly out here. Mm -mm. Oh dear. Oh dear. Liara, Garrus, you wait here a second. I'm gonna go talk to some people. Boop. Hi. Boop. The end of the world out there. Oh my God! Look at that. We can't sit around like this. What's this? Grawl spike thrower. What? Oh, it's a cro ooh, it's a Krogan shotgun. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna slow down my recharge for other things. It looks cool though. It does have a way higher accuracy than the one I've been using. I think I want to keep this set up for now, but it'll be cool to have this uh, to try in the future. Remember to bring it back when you're done, human. All right. Sure, I'll do that. Hello. Good question. What's the hold up? How's it going? Rose out. The convoy can't make it through. Ooh, yikes. Turian Wing Artemek, this is Shepard. We've been delayed. Hold off your attack. Negative, Commander. Our approach is locked. Oh no! Oh no! An airstrike alone won't do it. We have to get in that fight. Oh my god. Damn it. Oh no. I don't care if we have to build a new road. We are going! Shepard! Oh my god. Oh my god. Artemek, do you copy? Oh my god. Understood. Save your pilots. We'll find another way. There's a tunnel over there. Could be a way off. Get to it. Oh my god. They're all dead. Oh no. Oh my god. Ooh. Shepard, I take that We're not going that way. All right, let's go in here. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, they were all just standing there and now they're dead. Thank goodness, I was really worried the one that flipped was the one that had Eve in it. Oh god. Ooh, I just did the biggest front flip of my life. Oh no. Yeah, just scratches. Nothing the Solarian can't patch up. Oh my god. The Turians had to call off the airstrike. What was that? new plan for dealing with like a tremor. First we'll have to find you. Where did you end up? Underground. We see ruins of some kind. Commander, that's the city of the ancients. How do we get out? No maps exist. It's been abandoned for thousands of years. Are you kidding me? Get through there and we'll find a place to meet up. Oh my god. Oh my god, where am I supposed to be going? It's pitch black down here. Oh no. Oh, I don't like it. Oh my god. Not only am I in these tunnels, but there's no map. Okay, we're just gonna have to... Just gonna have to go through. One room at a time. And hope for the best. Oh my god, it's so... Oh! That didn't feel like a tremor to me. Rex, are you guys feeling these tremors? Oh no. <gasps> it is said that Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws, lives in this region. No! <laughs> Step on it. Oh my god! Hear that right? Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws. When the Krogan name No! You know you're in trouble. No! I don't think anyone's ever going to kill it. I was wondering, I hadn't seen a single Thresher Maw this whole game, and now we're getting the mother of all Thresher Maws? I was wondering if we'd see a Thresher Maw this game. Oh, this is really bad. No, I'm about to see <laughs> the biggest thresher more of them all. No. No. Oh, no. It's pitch black. I have no idea where I'm going. And there's a giant thresher more. No. No, 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 no. Oh, please, no. Get me out of here. Oh, what's this? Ancient Krogan artifact. Oh, very cool. I know I'm supposed to explore and everything, but like, my objective is to get out of here as fast as I possibly can. Oh, it just got way spookier. I'm so terrified that this Thresher Moor is going to come out of the ground. Is that a Krogan statue? What is that? Oh, another one. Ancient Krogan artifact. Well, guess says that's Kalros. If that's what we've been hearing down here, I suggest we get moving. Oh, that's a full Krogan statue. I feel like this one, like, lost its head or something. I didn't know we were playing Dune. <laughs> we're about to get a giant sandworm. Oh, no. Okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be okay. Um, I'm getting turned around here. Garrus, Liara, can you guys hold my hand? I don't like this at all. What? Oh. Hello. The Ravager. More Rachni. There are bound to be more than just the No. One. Rex, we've got Rachni here. Keep an eye out. Is everyone showing up to this? All that matters is getting to that shroud. Find us fast. Now we have Rachni to deal with as well. <laughs> oh my god. Finally. Light ahead. Here we go, here we go, here we go. In my younger days. I would have loved to have spent time here studying these ruins. Oh. Makes you wonder what the Krogan might have done if they hadn't blown up the planet. <sighs> Rex, we made it back outside. Well, okay. If you see sunlight, that's progress. Phew. And the color green. I thought plants were extinct around here. Oh, they're growing. This is once a world full of beauty. Given a chance, it can be again. Yes, Eve. That reaper is still up to no good at the shroud. Find a way out of there and we'll pick you up. All right, We're let's do it. it. Dealing with the reaper when we get there will be another matter. Yeah, first we have to survive. This in them. Maybe Eve is right. Curing the genophage might lead to a Krogan renaissance. Seeing all this. Ahead, we've got movement. Oh no. Oh god, okay. What is it? What is it? What is it? Hello. Yeah, it's a no from me. Thanks, though. Oh, 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 dear. Oh, dear. Oh, 
Hi, Garrus. Charge! <gasps> oh! No! No! Get my shields up. Ooh. Get down, get down, get down. Holy crap. Excuse you. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, God, I'm scared. Whoa. This place is huge, though. Hello. Let's jump across. It isn't over yet. Oh, hello. How are you? Hooray for cannibals. Wow, this is pretty magnificent. Hello. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, it's one of these guys. Big Brutus. No! Bad husk. No, bad husk. No, no, no! Way too close. Oh, I did it. I did it. <laughs> Bad husk. No. Kick. All right, let's go across. We're still in the ruins. Get a move on. That reaper hasn't moved, and the sky is looking worse. Love that. Hooray. Awesome. Oh. Liara, Rex, you okay? Let me get behind this wall and recharge my health really quick. Is it gonna work? All right, I'm coming. Older now, Morden. My God! <laughs> Morden, the audacity, my friend. Oh, hello. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Hey, excuse you. Can I actually help you? Nope. Whee! <laughs> Flying husks. <laughs> Love it. Hi. I have things. Sorry, Liara. I have things to do. Preoccupied right now. I didn't say it would be easy. Thank you, Rex. I definitely thought that statue was a giant beastie. Oh, hello. Speaking of giant beastie. Bad Ravager, no. Oh, there's another one. Oh, nope. Nope. Let's get down. Look at these little whirling dervishes i love it oh what's up here hello no i'm just gonna look around here really quick to make sure i haven't missed anything yep just a giant hole of doom it's fine it's absolutely fine this is huge garrus liara you okay hello Wow, look at these statues. Shepard, we're coming under the bridge. Get down here and we can get to the shroud. We'll do. Okay. Oh god, the rumbling is happening. Oh, look at that. Oh no no no. Wait, Where? 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 Oh! oh my god! I pressed R3 and nothing happened. Oh, no, noob. Liara! Garrus, come on! Tell me something I don't know. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Mordin! Yeah, the thing is, I bet Rex is enjoying this. He probably is. Wow. Oh, 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 oh! 
window. Don't touch Garrus or Liara. Yes. Alarmed yet entertained. I love you, Morden. Drive faster. Alarmed yet entertained. Love you, Morden. Wow, these are amazing statues. So cool. Well, we're about to come up on a giant open pit of sand. And rubble. Oh god, I really don't want to see a giant thresher ball. Can I just climb all the way up here and go around? Alright, let's go this way. There it is again. Big old beastie. Get down from there and we'll find you. Okay, am I supposed to go this way? I don't have a vehicle or anything, I'm just on foot. What am I supposed to do? I'm just gonna take this in, enjoy it while it's peaceful. Oh, the other mural is over here. Very interesting. It's all the Krugans. All right, I guess I have to go down this way. Okay, this is the only way down. Shepard, get over here. Breathe. Keep an eye out for that model. Oh no! Make it quick, Rex. We're exposed. Make it quick. Move it! It's Calroth! Oh, oh, here we go. go. What about Reed? No way he survived that. He was a pain in the ass. Oh my God, now Rex. There's a Reaper waiting for us. <sighs> Blah. We don't have a plan for this. We got out. We've beaten the odds before. But getting to that tower, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to do this. No what it takes. Everything my people will ever be depends on it. And I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It was her. Oh, God, I hope so. Actually. Oh, good how job, Rex. We summon her to the Reaper. Would that even work? <gasps> Already discussed strategy. Just need to distract Reaper. Draw it from tower while cure synthesized. Released. Could that work? That's a brilliant idea. Karos. you so sure she'll come? That's a brilliant but idea. In which all other Thresher Maws spawn. This is as much her home as ours. If Tuchanka has a temper, uh. Kalros is it. Nobody's ever faced her and survived. Yes! Okay, I have to say, I definitely thought we were going to have to kill this Thresher Ma, but now she's going to be like our ally and help us defeat this Reaper. I love that. That's so cool. It's just as much her home as it is ours. I love that. As if she wasn't already a queen, she respects the local ecosystem. I love you. What about the risks? I've seen some risks in my time, but this seems crazy. <laughs> I'd going head to head with Sovereign didn't. This True. This is the only way to get to that tower and release the cure. There's no other choice. I mean, what else are we going to bring on them? The tower was built in an arena devoted to Kalros' glory. The Solarians thought she would scare away intruders. The bland in the background. Appears, appears to have worked. There are two there, the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should be Hammers? Meanwhile, laboratory nearby. We'll finish synthesizing cure. Be safe. Let's make sure we all get out of here alive. We're gonna have one hell of a story to tell. Right? Wait! 
What? I want you to know that no matter what happens, you've been a champion to the Krogan people, a friend of Clan Erdnot. Rex, don't talk like a... that. <gasps> to every Krogan born after this day, the name Shepard will mean hero. Oh. Oh, so glad I didn't miss that. Rex, why are you talking like that? Be careful, Rex. I am Erdnot Rex, and this is my planet! Tell them, Rex! Yes! See you on the other side. Stay alive, Shepard. We'll have cure ready. Oh, that was so sweet. I love you, Rexy Poo. Let's get in there! Okay, here we go. Oh, I leveled up. Let's get it! I'm an honorary Krogan. Get off my planet. <laughs> Someone has to raise those ball hammers before you can use them. We're kind of busy, Rex. Lucky for you, I'm here. I'll... Doing our best, sweetie. <laughs> you be careful, Rex. I swear to God. Please. I keep hearing weird noises. M5. I'm not going to change out any weapons right now. I'm extremely worried about what Rex just said. Why is he acting like this is goodbye? In storage. Preparing the cure now. Nice. Make it quick, Morden. They're all over us out here. Come on, Morden. You got this. By the goddess, to our left. What? What? <gasps> Whoa. Holy crap. <clears throat> oh! Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god. Everyone all right? Ooh. I think so. Oh my god. Did we just get shot by a reaper? No. Consider that practice. Holy crap. I guess we're supposed to go forward? Come on, let's go. All right, I'm gonna have to avoid it, I guess. Okay, Shepard, I raised the hammers. You have to activate both of them. My advice is avoid the giant laser. Oh my god! Ooh! All right, I'll do my best. Come on, Shepard, let's go! Just keep moving. Stick to cover. I'm not sure cover's going to work. I can't believe we're actually doing this. I can't either! Oh my god! How am I supposed to avoid the lasers? <laughs> Go Tyrians! Yes! I knew they wouldn't give up. Yes! Be with them. Oh go! My... Let's push ahead! God, come on, come on, let's go, let's go! Over on our left, one of the hammers! Where? Gotta run, gotta run. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god, this is intense. Run. Did you see that? Oh my god, quick. Boop. We hit the first hammer. How's it coming? Almost half cure. Eve's final signs. Go on, Morden. Gotta get to the other one. Let's go. Hear that thing? My god! Boom! Other side, other side. Quick! Get that second hammer going! There's a reaper in my way, Rex! <laughs> oh my god, almost crushed me again! 
Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Boop. Go! I'll take care of the cure. Oh, here we go. Here she comes. Here she comes. Mama's coming. She's huge! Go Freshermore! Yes! Look at her go! She's like, you can't get me! I'm underground now! Thresher Mohog and crushed that thing. That was amazing. Go on, Morden. Uh oh. It's like right there. <laughs> it's right here. Is the cure ready? Yes. Oh my Loaded God. Dispersal in two minutes. Procedure traumatic for Eve, but not lethal. Malin's research invaluable. She's okay? Headed to safety now. Okay. Her survival fortunate. We'll stabilize new government should Rex get any ideas. Good match. Promising future for Krogan. Oh. Damn! Control room at top of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. You're going up there? Oh, yes. Morden, be careful. Have to counteract STG sabotage. Ensure cure dispersed properly. Morden, this whole thing is coming apart. There's got to be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variants. No, no other option. Not coming back. Suggest <gasps> get clear. Explosion likely to be. No, Morden! Morden! Shepard, please. Need to do this. No, Morden! My cure. My responsibility. Would have liked to run tests on the seashells. No! No! Morden! No! No, seashells. No, Morden's gonna sacrifice himself for the Krogan. This is happening so quick. I've had like no time to say goodbye. If I just stop the game now, Morden will be alive. <laughs> no, I was worried that somebody was gonna die. On the one hand, I'm so sad, but I'm also so proud of him. He's like doing what needs to be done to cure the genophage. And even that means like giving his own life for the Krogan. I'm so proud of him. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop here. I'm not continuing. I don't wanna press it. I don't wanna press it. Can I just uninstall the game so I don't have to see this happen? No, Morden. He's so brilliant. Like, the fact that he was able to cure the genophage is, like, an incredible accomplishment. And, like, the world needs minds like him. Like, there's never going to be another one like him. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. He's made his decision. He's made his mind up. What an incredible redemption arc for him. Like, he is the one that helped create the genophage. Now he's curing it and he's ensuring that it gets out there by sacrificing himself to make sure it happens. Oh, I don't want to do it. I can't bring myself to boop. Oh, I don't think I can do it. Oh. Okay. It's what he wants. I have to. 
I'm so glad I didn't miss the Paragon interrupt too. Okay. <sighs> I'll miss I'm you. Sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. <laughs> Someone else might have gotten it wrong. music oh my god he did it <laughs> a long time ago my father betrayed me in this place his own son he tried to kill me so I had to kill him right over there oh. that's what the genophage reduced us to animals you change that today, Shepard. <laughs> now we'll fight for our children, not against them. It's just a pity Morden had to die. <laughs> I'm not okay. Uh, <laughs> Morden did something incredible, like... And it's even more, I guess, poetic that it was a Solarian. <laughs> that did it. <sighs> he was a good friend. A brilliant scientist too. Way. And I'm sure wherever he is. I'm so proud of him. Good word for us. We'll name one of the kids after him. Maybe a girl. <laughs> <laughs> but you, Commander, we can thank you in person. We did it! The I'll be deploying troops to Palavan immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? Spread the hope you've given us. Yes, we did it. In the Celtic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnot Bakara calls you a friend. Oh, I'm honored. I wish it could be under happier circumstances. Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the genophage? <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. <laughs> Let's hope. Pack it out. Commander, Erdnot Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, 
And now I'll keep mine. Yay! The Thank you. you will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I appreciate I that. Help each other out. It's the only way we're gonna defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. Thank you, Victus. You May better keep your word. Watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Morden dying. It can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> we both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. <laughs> Thank you. I can't take any more deaths right now. Anything happens, you let me know. Oh. I just got through Morden dying and now I'm having one of my my trauma dreams <laughs> right after it. Oh god. Can't Shepard just get a peaceful night's sleep? <laughs> Alright, let's let's go forward. There's shadow figures, there's crying. Sounds like this is gonna be a nightmare. I can hold them off. Go back and get a Lenko. You know it's the right choice, LT. Is that Ashley? Oh no! Am I about to be haunted by everyone that I know? Hey, it's that child again. What is happening? Oh, I'm running in slow motion and everything. Oh! <laughs> Too soon! I think that's the kid up there. He was hiding. Was that Liara? I'm not here for the blah right now, okay? I have so many places I can run to. I can hold them off. Go back and get a Lenko. You know it's the right choice, LT. I have to go find the small child. Creepy child, where did you go? Oh my heart. Poor Morden. No, stop. Come here, small child. Not again. How much sleep did I actually get? Is the question. Oh, it's Shepherd, Liara. There's something you need to hear. What's All up? Right. Is this a bad time? I'm just remembering the lost. Thinking of some. I mean, not really remembering. This war. <laughs> Being forced to That's in my nightmares. The Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? I miss Ashley. I'll let them rest. I'll let them rest. No one I want to talk about right now. I understand. Didn't you have something for me? The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Okay. Lucas. He called the comm room. The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. <sighs> okay. Let's hope so. After all this time. Commander, there is something we should discuss if you are finished rewriting history. Not yet. I made my decision, Counselor. There's not much anyone can do about it now. Yep. Yes. We're going to have billions more Krogan in the galaxy. It's a good thing you saved my life once, Shepard. Otherwise, well, I have concerns about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. 
Uh-huh. My agents have discovered that he's using his authority to move vast sums of money. For what purpose? We're not sure. Interesting. I like that this counselor is very bitter about the Genophage. I mean, as much as Udina has been kind of a huge pain in the ass, I don't feel like Udina would do something horrifically illegal. I feel like if he's moving large sums of money, there has to be a reason. I feel like I've had barely any time to process like what's happening and now I'm dealing with this. Um, I like how quickly you can call me about somebody moving money, but when I literally need help saving the galaxy from Reapers, you guys are radio silent. Also, if you have a concern like this, maybe you should find out. Do you know what I'm doing right now? Do you have any idea? This game is really well written in the way that it's like, it really gives you that feeling of one thing after another. Like you gotta just take each thing as it comes, you don't have much time to process, like there's several things happening at once at all times, like it's really good at creating the feeling of something close to that amount of stress and things to deal with. It's very, um, it's well done. I guess we'd better find out? Dina's dirty, it's best we get to the bottom of it fast. Agreed. Come to the Citadel. We will review the evidence and discuss this in private. Valern out. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Okay. Oh, now we have Priority the Citadel. Interesting. Well, we are in the room for Space Dad, so let's talk to Hackett and see what he needs. Shepard, something you need to talk about? Galactic readiness. What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. Things aren't looking good in most sectors. Awesome. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise this won't end well for the human race. Or any race. Goody. Allied forces. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnog Rex running the show is a bonus for us. So glad Rex and is okay, at least. Krogan who rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. Yes, President I'm Eve. Disabled that mom and Tachanka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support as it is. We picked up some Turian troops. Nice. Good to hear. The Solarians. The Solarians. Interesting wrinkle. Interesting We've been wrinkle. Channel commitments from the strike teams within STG. They're promising to back us. Interesting. Even after I cured the genophage. Our intel suggests there are cracks developing between the military and the politicians. These STG guys know the score. They're not going to jeopardize the entire Solarium Union just because some Delatras didn't get her way. All right, the Rachni. What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. Yeah, I saw they had them I helping. I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. <laughs> no problems with them then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. <laughs> not a lot of small talk going on there. All right, Arya's reinforcements. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. I still have her mission to do. Useful and violent. Mostly Vorja I hear. Hooray! Sons to good use. Intel says Narnir Vosk is bringing his men and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got mm -hmm. Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. Okay, Reaper progress. You know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Believe it or not, the Turians and Krogan actually seem to be getting along. Ooh. Or not, Rex has deployed troops, and they're giving the Reapers a moment of pause. The Solarians are still hanging on to Sirkesh, but the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks too. Mm -hmm. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. Oh, interesting. Yes, I blame them. Yogg have teeth. <laughs> well, if we lose this war, it might be them running the next cycle. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. Just hmm. the ones who can threaten them. Forgot about that. 
the Volus and Elcor. Any word on the Volus and Elcor? Yes, Elcor the friends. The can send forces to the Volus homeworld, Evrun. Oh, interesting. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. It's something. For Elcor, they're still in the fight. The oh. show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. No, not the Elcor. You leave the Elcor alone, you monsters. The Batarians. The Batarians. Never stood a chance, hit by the oh. Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. Oh, that's wild. Are you kidding me? Damn. They were hit that hard. Quarians and the Geth. Have you heard anything from the Quarians or Geth? Tali. Something might be brewing Legion. in the Geth border, but our intel is sketchy. News is getting harder to come by as things get worse. Okay. I haven't heard anything about Tali or Legion so far. I want to know how they are. Okay. Well, thanks, Hackett. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. All right. See you, dude. That's devastating. I can't believe the Batarians were just like wiped out like that. So it looks like our new, our next priority mission is gonna be priority the Citadel. The Salarian Counselor has concerns that Counselor Udina is a potential security risk. Go to the Citadel and discuss the matter in person, okay? Interesting, so it looks like priority Citadel is the only new mission that has really opened up. Everything else was here last time before I did priority to Chanka. I still have Arya Talok's mission to do and Dr. Bryson, which I know are both DLC. It looks like priority the Citadel is next, which is interesting. I definitely thought there'd be more side missions. I guess not. Ugh. Well, I'm so relieved. First of all, rip to my boy Morden. Oh, my heart hurts. Rip to Morden. I, uh, I was not expecting to lose Morden today. <laughs> I was really worried because Rex made me feel like he was gonna get himself killed and my heart went in my throat and I was like, oh my God. And then Morden's death came up so quickly. Like I was not prepared for it. I don't think anything really could have prepared me. It especially stings because we just had the incident with Grunt where I was like, phew, Grunt got through it okay. And part of me was like, maybe Morden will get out of it, but his goodbye was so final that I was like, no, he's he's going. And then they gave him a very dramatic like end. They definitely made me think it was gonna be Rex and I was really worried and it turned out to be Morden. I really wish Morden didn't have to die. <laughs> but I'm so proud of Morden. I'm proud of his sacrifice. I'm proud of how brilliant he was to be able to cure the genophage. Like what an incredible sight seeing it just dispersing through the air and even Rex just looked up and Shepard smiled like, oh my God, he actually did it. I really hope there wasn't a way for Morden to live. Otherwise I'll never forgive myself. <laughs> but I think Morden did what he wanted to do and he was happy with his choice and that that is very important. I'm gonna go chat to everyone before we wrap up for the day. Check in with the crew. Hello. I'm very sad. I don't have much to say. I'm sorry. Commander, Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Navaria. Oh, another N7 mission opened up. Okay. N7, Cerberus Fighter Base. Admiral Hackett has requested assistance on a Cerberus Fighter Base on Novaria. Land on Novaria to disable the base's defenses. The Our trainer. Have given us top level access to their combat data. Their ships are already moving in to help the Alliance fleet. Nice. You actually secured a Krogan Turian Alliance. It's one thing to hear about, Commander Shepard. By the skin of my teeth. In action. Oh, God, like, I did not think I was gonna pull that off, to be honest. Oh, I have several emails, okay. Look at this first email. Look, Dalatras sent me an email. Should I just delete it? Should I just send it to my trash folder? Can I just delete this? Okay, the one above it is called Making Babies. We'll get to that. Let's read Dalatras's email. Dalatrash has sent me an email titled Your Regrettable Decision. My only regrettable decision is reading this email. Commander, 
I'm deeply disappointed by your actions on Tuchanka. As I thought I made clear, curing the genophage will have long-term consequences. Once the Reaper threat has passed, our combined forces will be so depleted that no race in the galaxy will be capable of stopping a resurgent Krogan. Moreover, the Krogan will undoubtedly seek revenge for the genophage, and the Salarian Union will be among their first targets. When that day comes, Commander, the blood of my people will be on your hands. I am ashamed to also learn that our own scientist sacrificed his life carrying out your orders. This is a dark day not only for my people, but for all of galactic civilization. Dalatras Linron. Dalatras, I just lost one of my dear friends, who was one of the most brilliant people I knew of anyone in the universe. And you have the nerve to mention his name in your email as if you knew him in any way, shape or form like I knew him. He made his own choice. I didn't force him to do anything. He wanted to cure the genophage. So do not use his death as a way to justify your disgusting, blatant racism, okay? I'm deleting this email Please don't contact me again. In fact, I'm blocking you because you're trash. Thank you. Anyways, moving on. Here's a happier subject. Making babies from Erdnot Rex. All right, Rex, you better not be going into detail about this. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever gotten an email from Rex. Am I about to learn the details of Krogan mating habits? I don't know. Is this like my grandfather emailing me to tell me about his sex life? Like, I really, I really don't think I should be reading this. Hey, Shepard, I'm making babies. Sexy Rexy is out in full swing. All right, let's read it. <laughs> I need a good chuckle after the sadness of today. Let's give this a read. Shepard. Making babies again will be fun. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he's probably very excited. Soon as this war is over, let's just say I'll do my part to build our numbers back up. That's great, Rex. Thanks, dude. You really came through for us. I'm proud to call you my friend. I love you, Rex. Eve is in the Kelphic Valley, enlisting support from the other clans and spreading the word. She's going to be a great leader. Most of the males won't like me sharing power with her, but too bad. I run the show. We're off to save the Turians now, since apparently they forgot how to hold a gun. <laughs> I can also appreciate the fact that Rex didn't sign his email. Like, I can't scroll down any further. It just ends. <laughs> Most people just, like... They sign off with their name. Rex didn't. He just ended the email. I love you, Rex. Impressive work. From General Corinthus, Commander Shepard. When you first arrived on Manet, I had a hard time seeing how you flying off with one of our best generals would benefit our fight against the Reapers. However, as I now watch Turian and Krogan fighters working together to take down a Reaper destroyer, I must admit I'm impressed. You've brokered an alliance that many thought impossible, including me. <laughs> Palavin might be saved after all. Yay! With great respect, General Corinthus. Awesome. Oh, still fighting from Shiala. Dear Commander Shepard, I don't know if you've seen the articles, but the people of Zoo's Hope are fighting again. Oh no. This time it's the Reapers instead of the Geth. I'm not sure if you remember me, but you helped me back on Elium. I remember you. The Thorian is dead now, I can confirm that, but the spores in our bodies remain and on some level, we are still connected. This is not necessarily a bad thing. As we fight back the Reapers, we feel each other and act with one mind, ignoring pain when the need arises. What does this remind me of? I've been watching the Wheel of Time series recently and it reminds me of the Aes Sedai in Wheel of Time and how they're all connected to this like one power. It's kind of like that, but with, <laughs> with spores. I'm sure I'm still indoctrinated. I remember Sovereign's voice in my head when I went willingly to the Thorian as its thrall, but my connection to the people of Zeus Hope is stronger. It drowns out the Reaper voices. Yes, love to hear that. 
This situation is imperfect and dangerous. Perhaps the colonists should separate for their own safety, but with one mind, the untrained fight with the skill of veteran commandos. Our force is strong. I have not forgotten how you helped us, how you spared me. We are leaving Pharaoh soon, and when the time comes, we will fight with you. Shiala. Nice. Oh, here we go. An ANN alert, new article on Reaper. Let's give it a read. Pharos. A group of colonists on Pharos have mounted a defensive against arriving Reaper forces, holding them back long enough for civilians from nearby colonies to escape. The informal militia from Zoo's Hope, said to be survivors of a savage Geth attack several years ago, has repelled initial Reaper landing attempts with a level of wartime competence more common to seasoned platoons. The colonies are using improvised weapons as well as supplies salvaged from a defunct Exogeny facility. This colony is our home. Colony spokesperson Lisbeth Bainham said, we've survived worse and we know how to fight together. The colony is expected to have time for full evacuation before more Reaper forces arrive. Yes, love to hear it. Any positive news about the Reapers, I am very happy about. Oh, we got another war asset. Yes. All right, I need a bit of cheering up. Let's go talk to my home fries, Joker and Edie. Oh. All right, my Karis. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Uh, I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> what do you call it when a Turia gets killed by a horrible spike? They're telling mark? jokes. Friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang Chi. <laughs> you gotta respect the classics. Oh. How many humans, does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? Six hundred and two. Six hundred to vote on it. One to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council after. <laughs> How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. <laughs> Pilots with brittle bone disease. You're, you're shitting me. The Turian military has one about me. Really? Oh, absolutely. I heard. Oh my it. god. I private back on Palavin. All right. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? Oh my god. So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Oh my god. The part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face. <gasps> Figuring out which side took the rock. <laughs> oh my god! They're just roasting each other with jokes back and forth. Oh my god. Joker, you're famous. You're famous, my dude. You've made it. Hi, Garrus. <sighs> Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Yeah, right. The Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. <laughs> I'm sorry about Morden. Thank you. He was a friend. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. <laughs> and this bump on my elbow? What? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. I'm glad it was just your elbow. <laughs> I always thought it was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? Yeah. <laughs> He was brilliant. Not, but he was one of ours. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? Pretty great. I think it would be an honor. It feels good. There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. That's a big deal, Can't too. I've never really witnessed history in the making like this. <laughs> well, except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel. And then there was the Collector base, but right. this one felt good. Aww. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Food taster? Imagine carnage if someone like that brother of his, Reeve, took over. Mm -mm. Could happen. Nope. I know. It's a chance we have to take, but I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Solarian deal. Uh, it never crossed my mind. I'd never bring myself to do that, no matter what I was offered. Yep. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Exactly. 
Let's hope our luck holds. Ooh, I got some reputation. Can I say anything else? Hi, Garrus. I wonder where all the Krogan will live now. I've never seen what you'd call a house on Tachanka. That's a good question. Okay. Neither have I, actually. I've just seen, like, debris and rubble. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Edie's not here. All right, kids. You have fun. Love you. Where's Edie, I wonder? I'm gonna go walk around a bit and check in with everyone. Maybe I'll run into Edie at some point. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Okay, let's go do that first. Boop. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. Oh. The ship was a space-bearing vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy <laughs> SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. The processors <laughs> that contribute to my They're both correct. ...are spread throughout the ship. See, Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she's piloting, just like Joker. Just okay, I'm gonna like interrupt. <laughs> she sees, hears, and feels through the ship's sensor arrays. The Normandy is her body. I've seen Edie's body, and its curves are a fine sight better than the Normandy's hull. <laughs> so what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. <laughs> Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. Hello. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Uh-huh. Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic what Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. Translation. We need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Okay. Can you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Sure. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. Okay. Would vaporize anyone standing in this room? Yeah, that's really that's not good. More serious than just a safety issue. Yeah. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? All right, I'll buy it. I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. You got it, my dude. No worries. Yay, we got another thing to take care of on the Citadel. We. Boop. Hello, Javik. How are you? Ooh, he's gazing. Hello. Commander. Sorry to interrupt. In, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Yeah, he's not here to make friends. I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of this ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. Huh. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. Huh. And a drill. There was illness in him. Oh, bang. bang. And the Krogan who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. That's my son. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. It's pretty incredible. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Mm -hmm. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished, the weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. The cosmic Is imperative. This imperative. Just your scientist's opinion, or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. 
the natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. The weak need protection. The strong to protect the weak. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. Um, but those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. But so nothing to offer according to who, life. though? Who determines that? Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara, I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. <laughs> I want to believe that's true, but part of me highly doubts it. It's so interesting, as he kind of just said, I feel like if Jarvik hadn't been part of a dominant race or was of a weaker species, weaker, he would not think that way. His level of intelligence is really staggering, or like the things he's able to tell energetically are really staggering. Uh, you really? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know, living a life of constant war, taking life in every battle, I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. Mm -hmm. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this and we'll both be set free. I hope so. <laughs> Alright, Javik. Thanks for the chat. You have killed a reaper. I would like to have seen it. No matter. There will be more. I mean, technically... Yes. A difficult fight remains. I have heard about the offer the Salarians made. I would have accepted it and not told the Grogan. Morality and friendship do not matter now. Your allies are simply resources to use against the reapers. Okay, but we need more allies to defeat the Reapers, so betraying the Krogan would have ruined that. Also, I didn't technically kill a Reaper. The Queen of the Thresher Maws killed the Reaper. But, alright, Jarvik, thanks for the chat. See you later. Boop. Jennifer is here, huh? Yup. This beats the hell out of reporting on the Milgram City Council. I don't think I've heard of Milgram. These We've two again. Back in Stein. Right next door to the Citadel. I'm a colony kid. Boop. Commander, got a minute? Sure. What do you want to know? What's up? Oh. Hi. You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellions? I have Paragon and Renegade option. I'm gonna go with this is Krogan Redemption. It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? That can be negotiated. Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. Mm. The the cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to command for approval. Okay. Sweet. Oh, I got Krogan clan's war assets. Wow, I just publicly supported the Krogan, so I guess I just got another asset? Well, that's really cool. Hello everyone! Hi, it's that guy. We cured the genophage! Oh, I can't go in here! <sighs> oh! He's not here anymore! Hi, Dr. Chocolates. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. Yeah. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. Hi. Hello, Commander. Hello. I miss Morden. <sighs> Boop. Is anyone in here? Oh! Edie, what are you up to? What are you Shepherd? up to now? I am uploading data on the destroyed Reaper to the Turians. 
They are investigating possible Reaper structural weakness. Our data says Reaper capital ships such as Sovereign are of unique design. However, smaller Reaper destroyers bear similarities. That one was small? <laughs> Relatively, yes. Whoa! The attack ships are only 160 meters in height. Sovereign was approximately two kilometers. Well, keep talking to the Turians. If there's a chink in the Reaper's armor, we all need to know it. Okay. Hello, Shepard. Hello. Well, that's kind of terrifying. Sorry, I got all upset again. <laughs> Seeing that Morden wasn't there anymore. That's incredibly terrifying and overwhelming. All right, thanks, Edie. I'm gonna go breathe into a paper bag in the corner now. Liara, I need a hug. Any sign of life? The Reaper destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. Yes! teams, to be sure. Out of the question. Tell the Krogan to stay away. Out of the question. My Liara. The genophage cured. The Krogan have no reason to hold back now, do they? Mm-hmm. The Reaper should be shaking Rex in their boots. What he's doing, but can he keep the Krogan in check? Oh, oh I hope so. Of another Krogan Empire. Oh, I hope so. He's organizing the female Krogan. She reminds me of some of the more formidable matriarchs I've known. She's pretty amazing. The Krogan won't let themselves fall by the wayside again. Not like they did after the rebellions. Mm -hmm. I hope the Krogan live up to their ancient legacy, and for the better. I hope so Feel too. Feel free to look around. Okay, thank you my darling. Let's look at the broker terminal. There's been an increase decrease in recent relay traffic. Interesting. I wonder what that points to. Hello. Boop. Oh, remains of Reaper Destroyer. To avoid the risk of indoctrination, remote drones have been sent to study the salvaged remains of a Reaper Destroyer. The drones can dig under the outer hull, scanning circuits for technology that will increase the speed at which tech, biotic, and combat abilities can be fired. Alternatively, the Council has offered a Citadel-wide merchant discount for choosing the safer option and demolishing the remains. We also have advanced biotic implants. This advanced amp is a sophisticated biofeedback system that interfaces with a set of Armour's microcomputers. The amp can be set to help streamline the use of biotic skills and combat powers or increase their damage instead. So I can get store discount bonus or power recharge speed. Ooh, which one should I pick? I probably, I would probably use the power recharge speed more often than the store discount. I think I'm going to take the recharge speed. Boop. So for advanced biotic implants, I can do power damage bonus to skills or power cooldown bonus. I think I'll do a power damage bonus. Hooray! I got some upgrades. Liara, I need a hug. Can I has hug? I'm really sad about my friend Morden. Bye, sweetie. Love That's you. Kisses. Service. Bye, Glyph. It doesn't give me an option to talk to him, otherwise I would. Hello. <laughs> it's that guy. Boop. Women's restroom. I'm gonna do my obligatory lap. And then leave. There's also the crew quarters. Let's take a look. How is everyone? How are we doing today? I'm just gonna make this awkward by doing a lap and then leaving. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hello everyone. How's it going? Oh, Cortez is over there once again not wearing any protective gear on his face. Wish you could have seen that gun on Tachanka firsthand. I cut the auditory emulators and watched that Cerberus cruiser gracefully and silently disintegrate. Beautiful. Nice, Cortez. He looks like a pretzel. What is he doing? <laughs> he was contorting his body in such a strange way. There goes Robo Puppy. Hello, Robo Puppy. Hi, James. You think that cure they dispersed could do anything to us? We're not gonna start growing scales or anything, right? I mean, maybe. Maybe now that we have the Krogan on board, we can go back to fighting the Reapers. I was Yay! looking at the specs on that Reaper you took out on Tachanka. That was one of the small ones? Don't get me wrong, it's still yes. dead, but damn. <laughs> there was nothing small about it. Nope. Hey. Hey. All right, James, see you later. Bye, Robo Poppy. He's a good poppy. All right, my darlings. Well, I think this is a good point for me to stop for the day. We did it. We got through. Priority to Chanka. 
That was really intense. We cured the genophage. I'm so happy, but I'm so sad that we lost our boy. A brilliant Salarian scientist, Morden. You were amazing. We love you. Rip to Morden. Pour one out for my boy. He sacrificed himself to ensure that the genophage was cured. What an incredible sacrifice. He was so resolved in his decision. He faced it with such bravery and I'm really gonna miss him <laughs> on the Normandy. I wish he didn't have to die for this to happen, but I'm so glad we went through with it. And as he said, someone else might have gotten it wrong. And Morden, I think you are probably the only one who could have done it successfully. It had to be him. He said it himself. I'm so sad, but I'm, I'm happy knowing that it's what Morden wanted. I'm so glad I caught that Paragon interrupt so I could say one last thing to him before he left. I'm really glad I got the Paragon interrupt for Rex so I could give him some kind of handshake hug scenario. This is going to change the course of history. The Krogan are now cured of the genophage. Eve is helping to be in charge with Rex. I am hoping that Rex and Eve can both set a new trajectory for the Krogan and prove everyone wrong. I feel like they have a lot of people who are terrified of the Krogan being able to reproduce again. And hopefully the Krogan can move forward in a new way. I'm so relieved the Turians and the Krogans are getting along and they're helping each other. Things are starting to move in a direction where I feel like we're actually making progress. The game is leading us, it seems, right into Priority Citadel. So I think next time we'll just go straight into that. To find out if Counselor Udina has been dipping his hands into the cookie jar. I'm not really sure what's going on with Udina. While he has been difficult, to say the least, in the past, I don't know if he's the kind of guy who would be extremely corrupt like that. Again, I don't know him super well. I hope. I'm right. Hopefully someone's not trying to make him look bad to make humans look bad. I don't know. Morden, you will be missed. Thank you so much for your sacrifice. He was the very model of a scientist Salarian. And the Krogan, thank you. I thank you. The universe thanks you. He was just brilliant. And he will be very missed. Thanks so much for joining me for Mass Effect 3. If you're enjoying this playthrough and want to see more, go ahead and let me know by hitting the thumbs up and leaving me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications button on your way out so you can be notified when new videos go up. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!